But before we finish writing off that view, we want to talk about request response cycle. Now, what this means is whenever you go to a website, you are doing something in this request and response cycle. Think of it as like if you knocked on someone's door, you are knocking there and you're like, hey, is so and so home? That is a request. You're there to request something. And then assuming that someone is in the other side of the door, they are there to respond with something or not respond at all. Right. So you've already worked with this a lot, but it's it's um, something that you definitely need to understand on how it works. So if I click on a link, that's a that's a request. If I click on any kind of link, there are different kinds of requests. So I just did several requests and we can see this actually in our terminal. We can see the requests that are coming through. So I've got get, 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 get. So I have several different requests, some that I actually did myself, which was like go to admin. I went to the URL of admin. Um, and then others that I didn't do, like static admin image icon. I didn't actually request that myself, but the web page did. Admin.post, that's right. I requested that. And then so on, right? So it's actually showing me all the different kinds of requests that are coming through from the site every time we click a link. So if I go to a page that's not found, it says it gives me another, it gives me an error of 404. You've already seen this. And we also have this thing saying not found. But the type of request is a get request. So I'm actually trying to get something. And what happens is the server returns a response. So me as a user, I try to get something and the server returns a response. Me as a user, I try to get something, but also the web page also might be trying to get something, right? So that's, that's something else that also does occur sometimes is like this right here is trying to get an image of some kind, right? In this case, it's a uh, icon delete image. So let's actually just copy that URL and see what's going on here. So we can actually look at it. And there's that image, right? So that's the actual image that's trying to be um, received. We're trying to get it from the, the actual application itself, right? So the page we went to tried to get that information. Um, so there's a lot of ways of doing requests and responses. It's not always just from the user, but it definitely happens. So when, when we come to a function based view or any of our views for that matter, we have to understand the cycle because if a request comes in, we have to return a response, right? So like we are the server, what we're writing here is what the server does. We're writing the logic to handle the request. A request comes in, we send it a response. A request comes in, we send it a response. A million times, hundreds of thousands of times. And that's what this view actually does. The view handles the request and returns a response. So what I did here was handle a request, any kind of HTTP request, and I turned returned an HTTP response. Now this isn't the only type of response that can be returned. There's other kinds that you can use in Django, but for us, for the majority of the time, like 99% of the time, you're probably gonna use an HTTP response unless you're using something completely different, right? So we're building a web application, so you're gonna be returning HTTP responses 99% of the time. So now that we've got that out of the way, we understand request and response. It's time to see it in action. But before we can see it in action, we have to actually set up something which is called a URL. Now in our in the terminal, we already saw this. We like went to get admin and then we went to get static. Well, how does Django know where to send this stuff? Well, if you look at admin and the urls.py, this is actually showing us admin.site.urls. That is how it knows where to send this stuff. And when I mean send this stuff, I mean send it to a view that's gonna handle it. The view handles it. The view is the function that handles it. The URL is the patterns that map it. So um, if you have any questions on how that sp specifically works, let us know. In the next one, we'll actually map our first URL. All right, so we'll see you in the next one.